are an extraordinarily bright bunch of folks. Uh, <laughs> we have um, of all of the uh, quizzes, five one hundreds. Wow. Uh, here, here's my dilemma. Uh, four of them earned 100 points by answering all 10 questions correctly. But none of those four got the tiebreaker correct. <laughs> One of them uh, only answered nine of the questions correctly, but answered the tiebreaker correctly. So, but we have a number of prizes, I believe, that we can sure. give you up among, uh, among the winners, including the trip uh, to, let's see, to Hawaii. Hawaii. <laughs> uh, 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 check, check with uh, Debbie Sager from Just How to Travel. <laughs> anyway, um, the answer to the questions, I think most of you got, got them, obviously, most of them got them right. Uh, Sunny Purdue is not running. There is a Purdue running, apparently, for um, Congress, but then everybody else is running for Congress and the Republican ticket as well. Um, so he was the one that was not. Uh, uh, there are no Democrats um, currently holding constitutional offices in, in Georgia. Um, there are, as we just pointed out a moment ago, three city council uh, seats that are up for for election. Uh, the decision of the United States Supreme Court last week in the Fisher case in Texas was uh, to return the case to the lower court for further consideration. And number five, the decision of the United States Supreme Court in the DOMA, that's the Defensive Marriage Act uh, case, was uh, to rule DOMA constitutional, no, no that's not right, that's not right either, to, to rule DOMA unconstitutional. Sorry, it's just spoke there. Uh, number six, the decision of the United States Supreme Court in the Shelby County, Alabama case last week was uh, to strike down Section 4, as, as already noted, not Section 5. And believe it or not, Congressman Burgess, uh, Republican of Texas, who is an OBGYN, um, recently argued that fetuses could obviously feel pain because they can feel pleasure based on the fact that little boy fetuses are known to masturbate in the womb. Uh, a lot of tension uh, number uh, number eight uh, after going into the Texas State Senate and filibuster a bill that would virtually shut down all abortion clinics in West Texas Governor Rick Perry announced that last week that be he would call another special session of the Texas legislature which is I think currently in uh, yeah, they recess they called in the session and then they like got recessed until the night. Okay. Yeah. So as we speak. Um, and nine Republicans in the U.S. Senate seem to have gained support for the so called Gang of Eight immigration bill by B pledging to extend the fence along the border with Mexico by another 700 miles and hiring as many as 20,000 new border guards at a cost of somewhere, uh, and that should be in quotation marks, I believe, because several members, uh, in fact, just said they had no idea what it was going to cost, but somewhere in the neighborhood of 30 to 40 billion dollars. Uh, so rather, a large neighborhood, I think. Uh, and finally, uh, finally, number 10, after losing the vote on the Farm Bill recently, House Majority Leader Eric Cantor blamed C, Democratic members, for voting against the bill because it cut SNAP by too much. Uh, that was the one that the table, table 8 did not get correct. But table eight did get the tiebreaker correct. Um, the answer to the question is the only United States Senator who um, voted against President Obama's nominee for Secretary of Commerce last week was Bernie Sanders of Vermont, the independent senator from Vermont. Not Ted Cruz, as, as many of these have said. So um, we have time. Congratulations, all of you.